Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show and demonstrate how to make a folder shareable as a web dat folder. So first, let's ensure the various prerequisites are in place. The first prerequisite is to have the free NAS operating system installed and running and configured in a virtual machine, at least for this demonstration. Um, you may have FreeNAS installed on a proper device, that's fine. So I'm just going to verify that the FreeNAS virtual machine is indeed fully running, and there it is. And here is the IP address of our web user interface, of the web administrative console. So I'm now going to open up the web administrative console via my browser. So 192.168.0.3, in my case, and press enter. Very good. I'm now going to log in with the password that I configured when I installed the FreeNAS operating system inside my virtual machine. Very good. Now before I go any further, perhaps there's no harm to review what is a WebDAV folder. Well, WebDAV stands for Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning, and it is an extension of the Hypertext Transfer Protocol that allows clients to perform remote web content authoring operations. So in a nutshell, WebDAV allows us to make a folder shareable and accessible via your browser, such that any browser that supports WebDAV can view the files in the folder, they can access them, copy them, and even delete them and add new files if the appropriate permissions are set up. So it's a lovely little feature. The next step is to create the folder that we wish to share as a WebDAV folder. So the easiest way to do that is to scroll down on the left hand side of the Web Administrative Console and select Shell. And now we're simply going to navigate to the folder, uh, to the drive, should I say, the FreeNAS volume. And normally by default the FreeNAS volume is uh, mounted in the slash mount folder. That's a Linux convention, so to speak. So I'm going to change into that folder. And let's have a look at the contents of that volume. Okay, there's just one folder there already. I'm going to create a new folder called MyShare. And this is the folder that we're going to share via WebDAV. So MyShare, very good. And no harm, why not go inside that folder and create a new folder called Test. And this will be useful to verify that we have indeed um, shared the folder correctly. Okay, so I'm now going to exit out um, actually, one more thing. Let us just go back and view the permissions of the folder. So by default, the folder is owned by root, and the group the user is root, and the group is wheel. We will need to change this to webdav webdav, but we can do this via the administrative web console. So that's where we'll do it. So I'm going to exit out from the shell now. The next step is to make the folder actually shareable as a webdav folder, and to do that. From the menu at the top, we select um, Sharing, then we shall select WebDAV, and then we shall select Add WebDAV Share. So the first option is a share name. This will be used to access your WebDAV Share. So let's choose, why not choose the same name as the folder that we created, My Share. The path, well, let's navigate to the folder that we created which is my share. So I'm going to select my share and scroll down and um, read only, no. Um, change user and group ownership, yes. This changes the user and group of the shared folder to webdav webdav recursively, i.e. including all subdirectories. This is exactly what we want to do. So it saves us having to manually do it. Select OK. Very good the WebDAV share was successfully updated, was successfully created. The next step is to set the password that we wish guest users to submit when attempting to access the WebDAV folder. So I'm going to scroll down and select Services, expand the Services option and scroll down to WebDAV at the end. Crucially, we see that the port is 8080, that'll be useful to know later. And now I'm going to enter a password. For simplicity, I'm just going to enter the password guest. Again, this is purely for demonstrational purposes. And select OK. 
the service failed to start. Okay, that's a problem. So I've changed the settings, but the WebDAB service is not running. So in order to start the service, um, I can now, via this menu option here, select services, and then scroll down to the bottom, because they're alphabetically ordered, and select start now. And the WebDAV service is now running. OK, very good. Now that the WebDAV folder is shareable and the service is running, the last step is to simply attempt to connect and view the WebDAV folder via a browser. So I'm going to change to a different tab and I'm going to type the address of the WebDAV folder, 192 in my case, dot, dot 168.0.3. Crucially, I must type the port number, so colon 8080 forward slash and the name of the WebDAV shared folder, which is my share. And then press enter. I'm now prompted to enter my username and password. So the username will be WebDAV, that's the default username of the service, and the password will be whatever password I set, which is guest, in my case, G U E S T, and select OK. And now, there we go. I have accessed the WebDAV. Um, shared folder called my share which itself contains a test folder which I can click and go into and see if there's contents inside. Okay, thank you very much.